Hi there! It's time for Voice Over Body Shop once again. We're here. We have a great guest tonight. Catherine Vasilopoulos is here. Catherine, where are you? Where's Where's her picture? <laughs> we know she's here somewhere. Anyway, she's going to be there. She is. Wave hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, all right, Catherine. Yeah, she's the new incoming president for World Voices, and we're going to talk all about World Voices tonight. And we'd love your questions, so throw them in the chat room. In on Facebook, Jeff Holman's in there, and he will relay those questions to us, and we will relay those questions to Catherine, and then we can like do a TV show like we do every week. Anyway, we got lots of cool stuff to talk about tonight, George. Yes, we do, as always. Lots of tech. All right. Hey, it's Voiceover Body Shop right now. From the outer reaches, they came. Bearing the knowledge of what it takes to properly record your voiceover audio. And together, from the center of the VO universe, they bring it to you now. George Widom, the engineer to the VO stars, a Virginia Tech grad with the skills to build, set up, and maintain the professional VO studios of the biggest names in VO today. And you, Dan Leonard, the voiceover home studio master, a professional voice talent with the knowledge and experience to help you create a professional sounding home VO studio. And each week they allow you into their world, bringing you talks with the biggest names in the voiceover world today, letting you ask your questions and giving you the latest information to make the most of your voiceover business. Welcome to VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan Signature Products. Source Elements, remote studio connections for everyone. VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your VO website isn't a pain in the butt. VOHeroes.com, become a hero to your clients with award-winning voiceover training. JMC Demos, when quality matters. And VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live to drive. From their super secret clubhouse and studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are the guys. Well, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever on the planet you are. I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. BS. All right. Well. Sue is actually in the studio with us tonight, our director. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only, only because we were having trouble having it doing it from Burbank. But she's got a mask on, so we're all safe. But it was actually kind of interesting being the only one in the studio for the last four months. You know? But now I have to worry about, do I have bad breath? And or I underwear on. Right. And, and I can't have Mexican food for lunch. So it's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. How th how's isolation going for you? Oh, I'm perfectly sane. <laughs> um, it's been going fine. Honestly, I I do go out and ride my bike and ride with a few people here and there. And so I've not been holed up too badly. And the last month or so, I have been visiting clients again. I had one little scare at the bike uh, microwave bike shop. There was somebody who initially was tested positive, one of our members. And all of us had to get tested and put, kind of put our, our schedule on hold for a while, at least our on-site schedule. And then he turned out to be negative. So that was a huge relief and annoying, but it was kind of like a drill. And uh, everybody that got tested was negative. And I've been tested four times so far, just to be sure, because I have been out circulating a bit. And so I just want to be safe. So yeah. all's, all's well, though. Yeah. Yeah. We got a new dog. <laughs> right, Mishka. Mishka, Mishka, Mishka. Yeah, it was instant dog. It was amazing. Didn't have to deal with puppy stuff. No chewing. House trained and incredibly lovable. Instant dog. Instant dog. You can't beat that. Go to your lo local shelter and find a dog that's right for you, because that's important. Because they want us, and they're so happy. This dog is the luckiest dog on the face of the earth. Yeah. You know. What was it you said about Jewish households and dogs? Oh yeah. If you if you you want to come back, if, you know, if you ever want to come back as something when you're reincarnated, come back as a dog in a Jewish house. It's you know you're you're <laughs> They're set. You, you've got it good. Maybe not an Orthodox <laughs> house. They don't particularly like dogs. But uh, 
Anyway, it's time to talk with our guest. Uh, as many of you know, I am I'm one of the founding members of World Voices, uh, the industry association of freelance voice talent, which you should all be members of. Uh, but we have a new president, the fourth president in the eight years we've been we've been doing this. And her name is Catherine Vazalopoulos, and she now joins us from Montreal, Canada, or somewhere around there. Catherine, how are you, darling? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Dan and George. Thanks for having me on the show today. Oh, it's hi. A pleasure having you. And hi you. to all the audience members. Yes. Yeah, so uh, wh- are you, you're not in Montreal proper. Where exactly are you? I'm on the south shore of Montreal. The south shore. On the south and the south shore of the St. Lawrence River. That's right. Montreal is an island in the St. Lawrence, and I'm on the South Shore. Ah, very good. Yeah. Wonderful town. I haven't been there in like 50 years, but it's a wonderful town. I loved it. I was there in, in the fall last year for VO North. I made a stop in Montreal first, then went to Toronto. So that was, yeah. it was really, I would love to go back because it's a cycling city. And you know, I like yeah. to bike. Yes, with a nice big hill in the middle of it. I mean, mm-hmm. and amazing pizza. Yes. Well, there's That's amazing true. pizza everywhere, except Los Angeles. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have the best pizza. Of course. <laughs> Those in Buffalo may argue with that. Anyway, tell us a little bit about yourself before we get to talking about Wovo and you know, how, how you got into voiceover and stuff like that. Like, where are you from and that kind of so stuff. I'm born and raised in Montreal, and um, I'm Greek, as you can tell by my last name. No. But I do speak multiple languages, and uh, I've been a voice talent since 2004, and I've been running my business since 2009, so that's now almost 11 years. I can't believe how the time has just flown by. Uh, I do voiceovers in French and English, and um, I do work for many international clients. I run my own professional home studio, and it's been a wonderful ride. I cannot tell you how many interesting projects I've been involved in, and one of the most significant ones has been serving on the on the executive board of the World Voices organization. And it's thanks to people like Dan, who took the initiative to start this amazing organization, helped many, many hundreds of people get a strong foothold on their um, voiceover career, get some information on how to run their business. Uh, we also had so many conferences that we were able to attend and meet members face to face. So those are all very valuable um, opportunities, I think, uh, that this organization has offered many, many people around the world. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I am also a medical writer, and my first job was to be a scientist. Uh, I've interviewed over, I guess, 3,000 physicians in my career, working as a writer and uh, attending advisory boards and writing reports. And that's another part of my business. And so merged together, I offer uh, editorial translation and audiovisual services. Wow. That's my background. You're a technical writer. Those, those are the fun people. They're the ones that write all the e-learning scripts and all of the, 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 the technical stuff for, you know, for something that is like describing some medical thing. And you've got to make it sound like English. Or French, right. I guess, in some cases, too. Exactly. Not the alphabet soup that some medical terms could look like. <laughs> ah, so, yeah. It, it's important to be able to say ankylosing spondylitis without really thinking about it. Uh, mm-hmm. And that's how you can succeed in, in medical narration. Uh, you know, isn't that, just a quick thing on medical narration. Do they really want people to talk really dull and slow like your family doctor? No, not necessarily. It depends what role you want to play, especially if it's an e-learning, because so many roles are being written for e-learning programs. So you have the nurse, you can be the pharmacist, you can be another patient, you can be just the narrator, voice of God type of thing. And depending on what your client wants you to, what role they want you to play, then you have to make it fun, you have to make it accessible, and it also depends who the audience is. If you're speaking to other physicians, then you have to maybe tone it down and make it sound a bit more clinical. If you're speaking to other patients, then maybe you want to make it a bit more exciting and less doom and gloom uh, just so that they can uh, connect with the content and understand what they're you know listening and and, uh, and talking about yeah yeah so let's let's get into talking about world voices now I know all about it and you know all about it because now you're president how long have you been president now 
a few months. When we inherited a pandemic, I also inherited the presidency just around <laughs> the same time. It really did happen at the same time. Yeah, they, they really weren't related, though. I, this... No, no, one did not cause the other, I promise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, I've been president since March of this year. Uh, and I've been on the board since 2014. So I've been either a secretary or a vice president to any and all of the presidents that came before me. So, yeah. yeah. So what, what does WOVO mean to you? Let's start there. I mean, everybody has this different idea of what this organization is. Now that you're at the top of the pyramid, what does it mean to you? It really means connecting with a community of people who do the same thing that I do. We all know, those of us who have been in this industry and in this career for a while, that it gets to be isolating. It is a lonely career. We are all living inside of a booth, recording in the dark or in some form of light. Um, and only we understand what we do. When you try to explain it to a family and friends who just aren't in it, they're just like, oh, yeah, you do voices. You just read what's on a paper. And it really is a lot more than that. But when you connect with other people, especially on a face-to-face -face context, when you see people either at a regional or at an international conference, you really see that there are other people out there who do exactly what you do, and they speak the same language that you do technically and business-wise. So this organization has the, it offers the gift of connection, it offers the gift of knowledge, um, and also the, the feeling that once you go back home, after a conference or after some form of webinar, you know that you're not alone in this. You know that you can pick up the phone or call somebody or have a Zoom session with one or many people who can answer a question about anything that has to do with business, technical, your studio, um, you know, anything that has to do with this. So you're not alone in this. And our industry is somewhat fragmented in that people don't all work at the same place, like, you know, either working at a hospital or in an office. We all work individually. So I think that this is an opportunity for people to really see that there are others out there who do what they do and to help each other. Yeah. And as an industry association, it's it's important that we relate to all the people that hire us. Absolutely. And what World Voices offers to the professional members. So first of all, there are three levels of membership in this organization. We have our associate members who are the beginners who haven't yet booked any jobs, but would like to learn more about the industry and how to do this. We have our professionals who have uh, already been hired to do work and have been doing this for either a few months or a few years. And we have industry partners. And what we offer our professional members is a place on our a member roster, which is uh, voiceover.biz. It's a member directory and it allows voice seekers or hires to come to the site and listen to the different um, demos and they can connect with people directly. So Wovo doesn't take a cut. It's not a pay to play. It is really a directory. And it's a wonderful place to showcase your demos, your profile. And it is a window to the world on um, what you can do for certain clients. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a totally searchable directory. I mean, if someone goes in there and says, right. well, I want somebody who speaks Spanish or I want someone who can, you know, do a Midwestern accent or does yeah. e-learning or any one of those things. Uh, and it's just totally searchable that way. And it's a, it's a member benefit for, for our professional right. members. And that's uh, right. It's searchable by genre, by, by demo, by language, by, uh, gender. It's, it's very comprehensive. All those things. Yeah. And of course now we're not promoting this. I mean, people hear about it, but the, the idea is to promote it again to the people who hire us. And, uh, so we have a project going on with that right now. Right. So we have a committee now that is forming and uh, we're in the beginning phases of really beefing up our uh, digital marketing uh, campaign so that m multiple people around the world in different markets can hear about us and know about voiceover.biz. And also to provide uh, a stronger presence on all social media and uh, and different avenues, advertising agencies, et cetera, casting directors. We really want people to know about voiceover.biz. So this will be one of the focus uh, focus points for World, World Voices in the, in the next year. Yeah. It's, it's important for the people who hire us to know uh, that there are vetted professionals out there, that it's not a crapshoot. When you're, if you hire somebody from World Voices who's a professional member, you can be guaranteed that they actually know what they're doing. 
Correct. Which is because when people join the organization, they have to fill out a a form that indicates their level of uh, experience and they are vetted as members. And when they are accepted into the organization, then as a professional member, you end up on the directory. Then the people know that these are vetted members. They're not just people who do this as a hobby and they're not people who have uh, you know, a studio that it consists of maybe a USB mic and not a treated room. And so there's this, um, I should say guarantee, not a guarantee necessarily, but there is a definitely um, an understanding that the pros that are on this directory are vetted and they are trustworthy and they will do the job right because they are so talented. You just have to go on the site and listen to people's demos. Yep. Right. I'm, I'm now being inundated with dogs in here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, Mishka. Come here. We wanted to show Mishka off. His... She's our new doggy. Oh, cute. Is she cute? Yes. Okay. We'll give her back to mom. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, we, we still love you, Ari. Uh, anyway, uh, if you have a question for Catherine or for me or the two of us about World Voices, put it in the chat room. I know Jeff Holman is sitting in there right now going, give us some questions so we can ask her, her those questions a little bit later in the show. So, uh <laughs> <laughs> she had to give him a little zets in the butt to get him out the door uh zets. anyway a zets yes you know what a zets is never mind uh if you have a question ask us now or put it in the chat room right now because it'll be very interesting i know there's a lot of people who have a lot of questions about wovo out there you know there's some people are like well why should i join all those other things we know it's a good organization. We know it's it's important. It was founded on the idea of being an industry association, that we are here to work together to promote ourselves, to again, to the people who hire us and raise the, the professional aura, the professional standing of people in voiceover. Because what have we done? We've invested in equipment we've invested in our careers and training and all those other things and we're not paving contractors not that there's anything wrong to being a paving contractor but we don't like to go for the lowest bidder we're professionals we like to be paid well uh again if you got a question for Catherine or for for us about this throw it in the chat room right now now that you're president and of course, you know, if you've, if anyone's ever served on a board, they, they know that, you know, there's politics and people have to agree and there's got to be compromise and all that. Every president has, I wouldn't say an agenda, but certainly has a style and a culture that they probably want to, you know, put on everybody else that's going to be their management style. What are your priorities as, as, as incoming president? What are the things that you, you want to accomplish and, and want to move us towards? So as we said before, really promoting voiceover.biz to people who hire us, I think is a very strong point. It's important. It's important for us to offer that benefit and continue to promote that for our members. The second thing is the um, overhaul of our website. Uh, we're slowly moving to a WordPress uh, platform in order to offer our members stronger benefits and, and um, features so that it's more searchable, so that we can put more resources and videos and more content on there that will allow people to go in and quickly find what they're looking for, uh, whether it's about mentorship, whether it is uh, contract samples, whether uh, any other resource that we have on our website, it'll be easy to find, it'll be um, easily modifiable. So as we progress as an organization, then we have this ability to also modify the website and have it more flexible than what we currently have. Uh, and one of my other priorities as well is to continue to promote our mentorship program. Our mentorship program is amazing because any organization, especially one that is member driven and volunteer based, um, the biggest strength is its members. I'll keep saying that. And when we look to our members and ask them to provide their knowledge and provide uh, their skills to other members who may not have as much experience, that's when we see everyone shine. People are learning, people are sharing. And so our mentorship program is there just for that reason. It's there to allow people to go in and search for a mentor, find a topic that they are specifically looking for, whether it's in performance, whether it's in um, 
studio uh, technical issues, whether it's in business or even just a sanity check, you just want someone to bounce ideas off of once a month. That's what it's there for. And it's there to connect people. The connection of people in this industry is, is the, one of the most important things. You, um, you definitely learn by watching other people work. You learn by listening to how other people think. Uh, and it just makes you a better business person all around. We all know that voiceover is not the only thing that we do. We do stand behind a microphone and we do provide a service to our clients. But when we step out of the booth, then we put on our many other hats. We have our business and marketing and we have our technical support and we have our uh, accounting and we have a billion other things that we do. Uh, administrative wise. And so we know that it's important to learn how to do things the proper way, especially in the country or region that we live in. Tax issues could be a different thing from one part of the country to another. There could be insurance issues. There could be so many other things. And I know we spend a lot of time learning the rules, but in business, most of the time you're trying to understand the exceptions. And that's, I think, what the mentorship program and all of the community at WOVO is there for. We're there to just help each other, find other people like us in our area, and then really discuss what the issues are and help each other. Yeah. I think what's fascinating about, you know, when we, when we formed this and we and people were joining and we're talking to people and we now know everybody, uh, <laughs> it's fascinating the different skill sets that people have and, of course, that they're willing to share to help everybody else. I, I think our overall philosophy has always been a rising tide floats all boats. Uh, mm -hmm. It's important that we have, uh, you know, a, an attitude of, you know, we're not competition. We're all snowflakes. There's plenty of, there's plenty of business out there for everybody. And yeah, you took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Well, it's, it's my we're, job. We're collaborators. We're not competitors. No one else has your voice. No one else has my voice. So we can, we're there to help each other in, not just the diversity that's out there, but to promote each other. We're there to support each other. That's the one beautiful thing about this industry. I've never seen this in any other industry where how many people are there being cheerleaders and champions for each other, as opposed to cutting people down. And, you know, that we've all seen it um, at conferences, on, on Zoom chats, on our weekly, we have Karen O'Brien who hosts twice a week our uh, cafe and lounge. How everybody comes on to these calls it's a zoom call and people come in and ask questions they get to know each other it's almost like being uh you know at a lounge or a cafe and just you know getting to know the people in, in the industry and when you know people i hate to say it it's not what you know it's who you know sometimes <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> yeah uh and it, it does it does help to know people it really does yeah i i i would agree i mean it's it's always been about the community uh, and being able to, you know, meet all these other people who have all these wonderful talents and really see how somebody else approaches their business, uh, yes. and make, of course, I think that's one of the most important things that we try to get across to people as an industry association is that voiceover is a business and we are all entrepreneurs and that it's, it's not about, well, if I get an agent, I'll just going to have, I'll be, I'll, I'll be on easy street. Well, good luck with that one. Uh, you know, but we do have agents who are members. And uh, we, we do have a lot of industry support people who are, you know, who, who are involved with this. My, yes, my and they share. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. No, they, they also share their expertise and knowledge during conferences and during webinars and uh, and calls. They're they're a fantastic resource because when they share with us how they operate, it really helps shape the way that you approach your auditions, your communications, when you book a job, what has to happen there, the ethics behind it. Uh, I remember my very first job that I booked with my first, first agent. I went out to a studio. Um, the man uh, told me, here's the script. I sat, I read, and then afterwards he said, do you have a business card? And I said, sure. He goes, well, maybe next time we can you know, work just the two of us and circumvent the agent. And that was just a red flag because to me, that was a no-no. I said, well, I met you through my agent and I'm not willing to bypass that. Right. And so simple things like that are the kinds of conversations that we should be having and understanding what the ethical um, perspective is on, on running your business and how to conduct yourself in a studio, in your business with other colleagues. That's what's important. Yeah. I mean, we actually have documents about that. I mean, we've got best practices. Uh, oh, best good. practices for voice actors, best practices for coaches, uh, mm -hmm. best practices for demo producers. 
and mm-hmm. things like that. And we'd like people to adhere to those. We're not, it's not like we're the voiceover police, but there are certain things that we all agreed were, were smart things to have right. uh, and certain good practices to have as voice actors and, uh, right. and the industry itself. And we've gotten the industry involved to our, our, our uh, industry partners uh, who are, you know, they're individual members, but they, they have companies and they service, you know, they have service to the voiceover community. But the idea is always not so they can promote their products so much, but as part of the industry, they can have an impact on, you know, the discussion and, and, and finding out what is best for everybody. So they're learning from us. We're learning from them. And it works right. out really great. And we really appreciate their support because they are in line with our mission. And that's why they chose to join and they get it, they understand, and they are part of that industry as well. We don't all live in a vacuum. We do not live in a bubble. We're all interconnected. Uh, And so anyone who joins and wants to help, they are very welcome to do so. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Once again, our guest is Catherine Vazilopoulos, and she is the new president of World Voices Organization. What's the web address? For world for wofo voices.org world Very. voices.org world dash voices.org mm-hmm. right yeah yeah type that in we'll put that in a little bit later on if you've got a question for Catherine about about wovo or for me or for us uh throw it in the chat room right now we'd love to talk to you because i know a lot of people have a lot of questions and we get mail from our members and uh you know we want to make sure that people understand that we're not just this ivory tower of people on the board trying to do things that we really want people to get involved, don't we? What are some of the ways of people course. can get involved? Well, we are always asking for people to volunteer in committees. We have so many committees that you can come in and volunteer. Okay, so back in the day where we were allowed to have face-to-face conferences, many people volunteered their time in promoting our conference, our annual great conference job called Lovocon. Yeah. So many people over the years have participated. I can't even tell you how many, and I'm so thankful for them because without them, we have no conference. Um, because, yeah, we're all volunteers, everybody on the board and in the committees. Um, so it's, it's important to have those volunteers come in and give their input. We are soon going to be producing more content and so people who would like to write content can volunteer. People who want to become either um, you know any any small jobs or small things that we need from them whether it's graphic design or you know to proofread something or in the newsletter we're constantly asking if you have an idea if you have an idea for an initiative that you'd like to pro- provide the membership uh, for example a webinar we have a very very cool show that we have called members helping members it's hosted by dave Corvoisier, and it is um featuring about a 10 minute webinar uh, from any of our members who have an expertise outside of voiceover and and they come in, they all, everybody had a previous life before voiceover in many cases. So what we do is we get them to discuss things like, you know, motion graphics or uh, online security issues. And they come in and they really help provide a, a topic that is connected to what we do uh, in our businesses. And I think those are also wonderful places to volunteer. So if you have more questions, you can always email us at the board. The address is eb at world-voices.org or the info uh, email address, which is info at world-voices.org. So we're always happy to hear from you. We are, we try as much as possible to answer in a timely manner, but uh, you know, there's only just a few of us answering. So please be patient with us while we do that. And we thank you for your patience. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the things that we, we get a lot from people is, well, what's in it for me? You know, now, now I have a bit of an attitude on that because, you know, as one of the founders, it's like, you got to get it that it is, we're stronger as, as a, as a whole, as a community, as opposed to a bunch of individuals, Uh, you know, not, not so much as a collective, but you really get out of it what you put into it. And, you know, the people who, who've stepped up and stepped forward and said, I can do this and I can do that. They'd make a huge difference. And they're the people who, who are on our board and they're the people that, that make it happen. And, uh, it, you know, if people are interested and really want to get active, if they have a lot of experience with, with boards and stuff like that, <clears throat> by all means, let us know you're out there. Join the organization, of course, and uh, uh, be part of it. I mean, 
it's been one of the most rewarding things that I've done in my life and something I'm really proud of, you know, that we've accomplished. Uh, and starting from, you know, four guys who wanted to get this done, me and Chris Metzalesta and Dave Cravassier and Dustin Ebaugh. And when we started it back in 2012, can't believe it, uh, that we and that we have this many active members now. Uh, it's absolutely fascinating. It's been great meeting all these people. And it's totally worldwide, isn't it? It is worldwide. We have members in practically every continent, except maybe Antarctica, if anyone lives there. I know, but we do have many members in, in different countries. And uh, just want to say hi. Hi to everybody. We're really happy you're with us. Uh, and for those watching from other countries outside of uh, North America, we hope you'll join us and consider joining the organization and help be active in your region and help us understand what the challenges are with, within the voiceover industry in, in your area, in your country, uh, in your language. Uh, there are always so many questions that we have in terms of how different markets operate. And that is one of the categories that we offer to our, our members in the mentorship program. It'd be interesting to see and have conversations with people who are in different markets and different countries um, and to see how things work and what are the, uh, the protocols, what are the uh, challenges. It's always very interesting to hear from other members. Um, what's in it for other people? Uh, I would say that it's it's mostly the, the formation of the, the community, the international professional community. It's to maintain professionalism uh, within your, your industry. I mean, it's easy to say, well, I work in a booth all day and I'm, I live alone and whatever. It's not just that. Like Everybody's affected. If, if you're um, charging less than what the market is charging, then what you're doing is you're creating a situation where there's lowballing. And if you get information on that and you get educated on what the rates are, then this also helps everyone else in the industry maintain those professional rates. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Once again, we're talking with Catherine Vasilopoulos, who is the president of World Voices. Again, if you got a question, throw it in the chat room. We're going to take a quick break here and we'll be back with your questions and more questions and all sorts of cool stuff right after these messages. You're Stay watching, watching VOBS.TV. I don't know why. It's crazy what they do here. I think I'm going to go somewhere else and have a cheese sandwich. Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big-voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? Stick around. You don't want to miss this. Look what you made me do. Power 103.9. At Target, we want you to come as you are. Be comfortable. Uh, okay, maybe not bathrobe comfortable. Pants for the customer in aisle four, please. Nuevo México necesita un cambio. La representante Michelle Lujan Grisham ha luchado por nuestro estado en la Cámara de Representantes. Watch anywhere, anytime on an unlimited number of devices. Sign in with your Netflix account to watch instantly at Netflix.com. The ice cream maker is a big risk that can have huge rewards until you forget to turn it on. Well, that's it, guys. Time is up. Hey, it's JMC. Thanks for watching the voiceover body shop. If you're demo ready or looking to get there, check out jmcdemos.com and see a sample of our work. Now let's get back to Dan and George and this week's tech wisdom. What question do we get most often? Far and away, it's how do I even get started in voiceover? And we have a great answer to that question. Take the voheroes.com free getting started in VO course. You heard right. It's free. And it's available online 24-7 at gettingstartedinvo.com. That's gettingstartedinvo.com. If you've been watching VOBS and thinking that you need to get in gear and start your own voiceover career, this is the course you should start with. You'll learn about the vocal skills you need, the storytelling skills you need, the equipment you need, the business skills you need, and the mindset you need to have all in one single comprehensive online course taught by VO Heroes David H. Lawrence the 17th. This course won the Backstage Reader's Choice Award four years in a row. And again, there's no charge. It's absolutely free. Want to take it? Of course you do. Getting started in VO.com. That's getting started in VO.com. Hey, you know, it's not often we get to hang out in the VoiceOver Body Shop office home of the VoiceOver Body Shop Broadcast Museum and Time-Wasting Hobby Museum. Anyway, 
We're here to talk about Harlan Hogan and voiceover essentials. Right now, the Harlan Hogan Voice Optimize headphones, together with the wonderful LED full color voiceover recording sign, are on special right now at 20 bucks off. No promo cord required. Just put both items in your voiceover essentials shopping cart. The headphones, they're specially designed for voiceover with a nice flat response that allows you to hear you as you exist. And the LED voiceover recording sign is the perfect way to keep everyone around you quiet while you ply your craft. That's 20 bucks off when you buy both. No promo code required. Just put both items in your voiceover essentials shopping cart. Go over to voiceover essentials right now and see all the great stuff they have. Thanks, Harlan. This is Ariana Ratner, and you're listening to VoiceOver Body Shop, VOBS.TV. And we're back here on VoiceOver Body Shop, and our guest is Catherine Vasilopoulos, who is the president of World Voices. Now, I know a lot of people out there have like, perhaps you've heard of it, perhaps you haven't. We've been around a while. Uh, if you're new to the industry, it might be interesting for you to check us out and see how we can help you because we're not a voiceover school. We're not a, an academy. We are an industry association and uh, Catherine is now taking the reins of it and she gets to describe all this stuff now. <laughs> I've only been doing it for the last eight <laughs> years. That's right. Uh, we got a lot of questions from our vast worldwide audience here who is fascinated with, uh, with Wovo. Uh, George, you want to take some of those? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Let's start at the top. Um, the first one I see is from Eric Michaels and he says, is there a cost to join? How do you join Wovo and what's it cost? Thanks for your question, Eric. Um, so yes, there is a cost to join. The The fee is the same for, it doesn't matter what um, what level of membership you join in at, it's $99 US per year. Uh, and you join on our website at world-voices.org. You just hit the join us button and it'll take you to the application page. There is a, a vetting process that takes place. So you do have to fill out an application form and it is a manual process. So it takes a few days. It's not an automatic you're in. Uh, the board reviews your application and they determine whether or not the level that you chose for, um, for membership is the correct one for you. And then you'll get an email uh, stating that you've been accepted. So we, we do welcome everyone, uh, but we do want to put you in the right category in order for you to uh, benefit from all of the features that we offer. And it's a matter pretty much of how much professional work have you done? Uh, you know, if you, we want you, we, we want everyone to become a professional member, uh, but we want to see, you know, how many paid jobs have you had? Do you have a web presence? Things like that. Things that show that you're a professional voice actor. Right. And, uh, and we vet that. And we really want to make sure that if you become a professional member, that you're, you're representing all of us as a professional. So that's really important. And if you do apply at the associate level, meaning the beginner level, and you haven't booked any work, that's okay. What you do is you take your time and you learn from other people within the industry and in our organization. And then when you're, you've booked a few jobs, the, the minimum is five jobs uh, at a market fair market rate for the last uh, 13 months. Once you've achieved that, then you can just email us and tell us, hey, I booked five jobs. Now I'd like to um, move on to becoming an upgrade to a professional level. And we'll be very, very happy to upgrade you to professional. Yeah. And we encourage that. And we celebrate it when it happens. Yes. <laughs> like, All right. Yes. Somebody's actually making it in this business. Um, next question from Jim Edgar. George. Oh, uh, this one is regarding voiceoverforum.com. Oh, uh, yes. Is it happening? Is it moving forward? Says Jim Edgar. Yeah. Uh, right. Go, you want you can take this one. I can take it. Okay. So we're currently reviewing all of our online platforms and we are reviewing our website first and foremost. So that's what we are focusing on. Uh, and then if we are able to, we will integrate it because I think that is it is a good thing to have uh, the, the voiceover forum for people to go on, to type in their questions, to have it searchable and archivable and all that. So I think that it is definitely something that's on the radar, but we are currently working on upgrading our website. And because it's gonna be a WordPress um, website, then we will also have an opportunity to put in the plugins necessary and connect everything. 
So we will keep you posted on that. Thanks. It's good to hear from you, Jim. Hello. Yeah, always great to hear from him. Uh, a real good technical expert. Also, voiceover forum uh, is is something that will allow anybody to you know not only ask questions but also have discussion and searchable discussion, searchable threads and stuff like that about mm-hmm. voiceover, about the business, about issues in the business, and uh, by making by creating searchable content, it also helps you know, the organization, yeah. it also helps the, the industry because we'd like it to be the, the central focal point for, uh, for discussion. Cause anyone who's ever searched for a topic on Facebook groups knows that it's very <laughs> fragmented and it's all over the place and you, you don't know where to search for things. And maybe the same topic has come up 15 times before you ever showed up and everybody's like, Oh, this topic again, <laughs> as if everything is centralized in one place, then people know where to go and find that information. So yes, that would be a very fantastic resource to have. Sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the number one question? What's the best, What's the best microphone, microphone for, for voice or voiceover? <laughs> and it's usually the one you got. Um, something from transfusionist Al LeBron. That's, <laughs> that's a best name. I, that's a, a, that's a great name. Um, transfusionist. Um, hello, I have been told I have a good voice for this industry. The second most asked question. <laughs> yeah. What do you recommend my first step should be? Catherine? (laughs) No, it's a great question. And I know the answer to this. You need to determine who you want to be in this industry. The way I've broken it down is three things. There's three categories. You can either be an educator. You can be an entertainer. Oh, my God. What's the third one? (laughs) Producer? No. No. In terms of a a salesperson. Ah, yes. Because you have commercials and things that you sell. So some people have a salesy voice to them and it's something they're born with. I'm not born with that. I'm not good at selling. I'm good at educating. So I'm, I've considered and classified myself as an educator. You have entertainers who are really good at doing voices and characters and emotions, and they're good in theatrical things and video game voices. And you have the other people who, as I said, are good in commercial work. You can do all of these things, but I think that in general, you can't be everything to everybody. You do have to decide what you're going to specialize in. Once you've determined that, then you can start focusing on your training and how you want to develop that so that eventually with the training, you'll be able to develop a demo. Your demo is your number one calling card to the world. It's it's the way people hear you and understand who you're, what you're about, what you can do, and whether or not they want to hire you for a job. So I think those are the things or the questions that you need to ask yourself first, and then determine a career path that goes with that. And we're happy to have a chat with you at Wovo if you're interested in talking with us. Yeah, that's a, that's a, and that's a great thing, you know, part of our mentoring program is really helping people establish, well, what's your niche? You know, what is it that, you know, what is it you're good at? Uh, you know, are you very conversational? You know, do you have a, but wait, there's more of a type of voice, which everybody thinks they can do, but it's not exactly yeah. easy to get to. Uh, um, yeah. So a deeper question would also be what kind of clients are you looking for? Who are your clients? Are they going to be schools, universities? Is it going to be ad agencies, telephone companies, video game producers, app developers? Those are also questions that you need to um, start thinking about to develop a potential client list and who you're going to market yourself to. Right. You know, what, what do you have expertise in? You know, I was once talking to somebody and I was helping him set up a studio. I said, well, and he was retired. I said, what did you do? He goes, I was a priest. And I'm like, do you realize the opportunity you have as a former priest, uh, you know, you know, do you have an MSW? Can you can you talk the language of social work? Uh, you can talk religious. He was in the military. All these different things. And he's like, I hadn't thought about those things. And now he's yeah. building a career on those certain things. So really, what's your background? What are you an expert in? Those sorts of things. So And it's especially great for people who do audiobooks and oh, yeah. e-learning. Because when you have an expertise that comes before the voiceover, 
you sound like an expert when you're reading it. And you don't sound like you're making it up as you're going along. You get a script and everything looks familiar to you and therefore you're more comfortable with the content. I know someone who does audiobooks and was in the military before and knows how to pronounce all the acronyms and the, the terms that are used in military and actually has the tone for the military work. So when he reads audiobooks, you know, it sounds credible. Same thing for people uh, like myself who have been in science and medicine before all the medical terminology comes very easily and it's easy to pronounce and therefore you sound more credible and you sound like a professor talking to peers as opposed to a person who just showed up in the booth, doesn't understand how to read something. And then the people listening to this are gonna say, well, this person's not an expert, why should I believe them? So there is a psychological com component to being a credible uh, voice behind the microphone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, another question from Jim Edgar who's paying very close attention tonight. George? He sure is. Um, he said uh, pre-pandemic, there was a focus upon more regional regional mini sessions to increase Wovo visibility and membership. But obviously the game has changed for in-person events. Um, what can we do in, to continue to expand the Wovovian <laughs> awareness more generally? Yeah, I uh, I know what you mean. It was such a... We were looking forward to starting to produce our mini cons, our regional conferences, uh, to bring together smaller groups of people, but in more concentrated regions so that you actually know who's in your region, who's in your area, and a great way to uh, you know, have maybe 40 to 50 people as opposed to humongous conferences where it's very difficult to connect with everyone. The connection that you get from being in a room or a weekend uh, with 40 people, chances are you're probably going to talk to every single person and walk out of there with, uh, you know, a future of talking to these people. So we were very much looking forward to that. And unfortunately, the, the plans were kind of put on pause. But what we've decided to do instead was to hold uh, twice a week Zoom sessions for our members Wednesday around noon um, Central Time or Pacific Time. We have our Wovo Cafe that is hosted by Karen O'Brien um, on a weekly Pacific basis. 11 Pacific Time, yeah. Oh, sorry, 11, thank yeah. you. So it's 2 p.m. Eastern, I'm on Eastern. Uh, and also Sunday nights, we have the Wovo Lounge, which takes place at 7 p.m. Eastern. So it is 4 p.m. Pacific, I believe. Uh, and so you can uh, join into those Zoom chats. I mean, that's the closest thing that we can produce right now in our limited you know, social distancing and we cannot have real conferences face to face. So we're doing a virtual uh, conference often. And so it's better than just meeting once a year or twice a year, we're meeting twice a week. So feel free, we have our, our, if you're a member of WOVO, we send out an email every time the day before with a Zoom link and uh, letting you know what time and what place. And you just click on the link, you come in and go as you please. It's very informal. You can talk about anything you want, if you have questions and then other members are there to help you to just chit chat about what it is that you're drinking that day or what your dog has been doing or, or any question about voiceover. And I think that's been very successful so far and people have appreciated that. And we're getting great feedback because people are isolated. Some people cannot leave their, their area or their town. Uh, other people are, you know, they did get sick and they got better. So I think that's one of the main ways we're still connecting with community and it's working out really, really well. And it's frequent and it is consistent. And I think people have really enjoyed that. Yeah. I, I can't wait till we can get back to the mini cons though. And we can all get back together and, and do this because it really, it works best when it's, it's personal uh, conversations yeah. in the lounge or on the hallway or but you make friends. I mean, it, maybe you remember, you know, they say the friends you make in college are the friends you have for a lifetime. Uh, I think the friends you make in voiceover are the friends you have for a lifetime. And uh, those conferences, I mean, WovoCon is, is really great. It's a big conference. Uh, I don't think we'll do it in Vegas again. I think we'll probably move it to another, another venue. Uh, but the mini cons were especially nice because... People could come from a certain region, didn't have to travel a long way. And, you know, it was a short conference, but we, we accomplished a lot and we met people and became friends with people. And I think yeah. that's the best part about it is you, you really establish relationships with people that that's you right. might normally not get the chance to do. And, uh, and you finally meet people who are in the same region that can 
help you answer some questions around accounting, around tax laws, around uh, anything that has to do with what's really happening in your own backyard. Because in many cases, you know, some many people are not in the US or in Canada, and so they are located elsewhere. And so they would like to have answers to questions that are related to their own country. So that's where the value of having regional conferences comes in and meeting the people who are in your own area as opposed to flying across the world. Yes, it's fun and it's exciting and you do meet people elsewhere. That's fantastic. But there's a lot of value to having people who are in your area and to maintain a closer relationship with those people who are very much in line with what's happening in your day-to-day -day business. Yeah. A yeah. uh, question from Tom Machen. He asks, uh, Hi, Tom. Yeah, mentoring for members is something I'm looking forward to. I haven't seen any actual offerings yet, and I'd like to take advantage. How would I do that as a member? Okay, so as a member, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we sent out an email. Uh, if you had joined after that, then I'm happy to send it to you again. But we did send out an email indicating what the uh, purpose of the mentorship program is and how to get involved. And definitely, it's just very easy. You go into your WOVO profile and there is a box at the bottom that says, do you want a mentor? And you click yes. And when you click yes, a, a next box opens up and you type in your biography and you click the categories that you want to be a mentor in and you click save and then boom, your profile ends up in the mentorship page. And then if people are interested in the topics that you are specialized in, then they will go into the mentorship page, search the topic and your name will pop up. If you're looking to learn from other people, then you just go into our find a mentor page on our website once you've logged in and right there you can search the directory and find someone who is qualified and interested in talking to you about the topic that you're looking for. And if you can't find anything, just shoot us an email at the executive board and we'll try to help you out as much as we can. Yeah. Hope that answers your question. I'm sure it will. Uh, from J. Horace Black. Hello, I'm a Hello. sag after member. Thankfully, have been working uh, a lot in the last few months. What would be the advantage of WOVO for union members? I am very active in union meetings, etc. Something we've talked about a lot, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm not particular. I'm not in sag after, and therefore, I do not know. Uh, the workings of it is, and I'm also in Canada, so we have ACTRA up here, uh, but definitely you're in ACTRA, therefore you could become a voice for people who are interested in joining the union. Uh, you could be an advocate for WOVO within the union and vice versa. You can definitely be part of the conversation and seeing how voiceover can become uh, a, at the forefront of union business. Uh, there are many, many things that you can do. And it's basically, as, Dan, as Dan said earlier, um, it, you get what you put into it. And if you want to become a key player within that, and of course, we'd like to have that dialogue with you. And the more people we have in the union who want to have that dialogue, then the better it is for all the people who are in the union as well. Right. And we're not a union. This is an industry association. It's a very different concept. And, you know, be, even, even if you're in the union, you're still a freelance voice talent. And that's really what we talk about. And really what we, we try to serve is that freelance community. Uh, right. And so we're not like negotiating contracts and all the other things that the union does. We're doing all the things that the union won't do. Like, advocate and activate and be activists for the issues that are going on that are affecting voice actors uh, and the industry as a whole, as opposed to just the union members. So that's right. interesting. And we use our Facebook group. It's a private member group. Uh, so if you're not a member, you don't have access to those discussions. But we have used the Facebook group as a place where people can go in and, and type in a question or a comment and start a discussion going. And it's very uh, it's very fruitful because you have multiple opinions and points of view that come in and it helps you shape your perspective on a certain topic. But they're points of view from others, other professional professionals in the business for the most part, right? Right. There are yeah. other professional members within WOVO yeah. who can answer the question, who may have a different perspective or more experience on a topic, or they've gone through something that you've just gone through for the first time. It really does help to get somebody else's experience and perspective, because then it may potentially help you avoid certain pitfalls or certain mistakes that they've already gone through. So you can learn from them as well. Yeah. You need to be really careful what Facebook groups that you find and stumble on, on 
for the voiceover business. We know there's a lot of them. And so when you're in an organization like Wovo and you ask questions in a private group like that, it's a far more fruitful and it's a really much better place to ask those questions by far. Yeah, I agree with George. Yeah. Oh, well, so do I. But I agree with him most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> Diane uh, Romel Fay. She's a few questions, but I think this one's, you know, something that's easy to answer. Well, the first one, the really easy one is after COVID, whenever post-COVID is or what that is, mm -hmm. are you going to keep doing those Zoom chats, you think? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm glad you asked it, Diane. I don't know. We haven't thought that far ahead. We're just taking it as it comes. I guess like most of us, we're just waiting to see what the next step is. The next step is. So yeah. we'll keep doing them as long as members want them. There's no simpler answer than that. And, sure. uh, you know, if it means that we have to go down to maybe once a week or every two weeks because there's maybe less need for it, we will modify. But for now, I think it's working out really nicely to do twice a week. It offers people uh, an option to either join during business hours on a Wednesday or on a Sunday night when you have a lot more free time. So I think um, I think we'll, we'll take it as it comes because we don't know what the future holds. All righty. Well, Catherine, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am so looking forward to you being president and us working together on all these issues and, and making these things happen. And I wish you a lot of luck. <laughs> thank you so much but for I don't having think me as a guest. <laughs> Thanks for having me as a guest on your show. And George, for fielding all the questions and to all the audience uh, members for listening and, and being very uh, participative and to your crew at VOBS. I'm really appreciative and... Thank you so much for the opportunity. All righty. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back to wrap things up right after this. Hi, this is Bill Farmer, and you are watching Voice Over Body Shop. It's great. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do... They break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. October, October Career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches, Coaches and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks auditioning casting home studio setup and equipment marketing performance techniques and much more it's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition it's all here at voiceoverextra.com that's voiceoverxtra.com all right. Well, it's the time of the show when we get to talk about Source Elements, the creators of Source Connect, and tons of other interesting features. And I thought maybe tonight, let's type into the browser source-elements.com, look at the products link, and they don't just make Source Connect, folks. They make Source Connect, they make Source Live, Source Nexus, Source RTL, Source Net, Source Zip, Source Talkback, Source VC, the volume controller, Source LTC, Virtual ISDN, the RISDN Bridge, Source Connect Now, and Source Elements Meet. <laughs> they make a lot of products. And so if, if you're already a user of Source Elements, this 
Source Connect or have been exploring, take a look in this menu once in a while. You might be blown away. <laughs> they're they're launching things sometimes under the radar just to, as a service to the community. And I would say for sure one of those is Source Elements Meet. Um, Source Elements Meet was designed clearly as an alternative to Zoom when people want something that feels and works a little bit like Zoom, but has better audio and video quality. The I've I've experimented with it a bit, and I have found that the sound quality apparently is the same as Source Connect now, which is very high quality audio, and the video is also quite impressive as well. I might add. Um, so it's if for if you're working with people who are Zoom sensitive. Um, you know, studios that are not, you know, they don't want to trust using Zoom right now for whatever reason. Um, it's a great alternative and uh, it's free um, if you have an account and it just runs on Chrome and it works, of course, with Source Nexus. So you can send video, you can send audio to and from a multi track doll for the producer. So, a pretty cool way to collaborate on projects as an alternative to. To, to Zoom. So just so you know, there's a lot of things that Source Elements makes, not just Source Connect, um, that you should explore on their site. And there is some really exciting news coming. We've been teasing it for a while, but Source Connect 4 is in alpha state. I'm going to be testing it soon, and I'm going to have a version that runs on certain mobile devices. So that's going to be cool to try out. So we'll definitely have more news about that soon. Anyway, we appreciate their sponsorship, of course, for a long time now. And uh, we'll be right back to wrap it up right after this. This is Anthony Mendez. You're watching VoiceOver Body Shop. Yeah, important to mention, I think, that uh, if you want to join World Voices, it's world-vo, world-voices.org. You know, yes. I think we probably have, if you type it in, it'll probably go there, but worldvoices.org and click, and click on uh, join today and, you know, it get you into the process. Uh, hey, you know, we've got uh, a lot of people, you know, watching the show and they're contributing, but first we got to tell you what's coming up. Like next week, we've got tech talk number 39. Mm -hmm. And then the following week, the lovely and talented Elaine Clark, one of the top coaches in the business, is going to be joining us from the Bay Area on the 20th. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant woman. Wonderful lady. Wonderful lady. So anyway, who are our donors of the week? Yes. Some fresh Some, names. A couple new names. It's yeah. awesome to see. Um, we have Shauna Pennington Baird, uh, Martha Kahn, 949 Designs. That's actually our buddy Lee, Lee Penny. Penny. Uh, Rob Ryder, Michael Kennedy. Gave us a nice healthy donation. I see a couple of dollar signs there next to his name. Thank you. Uh, Valerie Burgess, Mike Gordon, and Michael Kearns. And uh, some of those names you've heard many, many, many times before, probably because they subscribe. And you can do that on the website if you want to give us a buck a month, whatever it is that feels good for you to just be a, just to have your name be read and just feel connected to what we do. We, uh, we really appreciate it. Or just a one-time donation. If you heard something that was life-changing yeah. <laughs> on the show, you can do that too. We yeah. appreciate it. Right on the website at vobs.tv. Right. Also, you can join our mailing list, uh, which is easy to do. Just click on join our mailing list on our website, uh, vobs.tv. And uh, what do we do with that mailing list, Dan? I, I send out I tell people what's on, what's coming what's on. What's coming on. Week. That's right. So that's, it's important. That's to it. That. We're not spamming you. No, we will Just not. Just another way to find out what's going on with the show. We will not spam. We hate getting spammed. We don't want to spam you, but we do want yep. to tell you what's going on because you've joined. And I think we're almost up to about 700 members on that. So that's. Hey, that's great for our mailing list these days and age, day and age. That's pretty good. Absolutely. Uh, we need to thank our sponsors like Harlan Hogan's voiceover essentials. VoiceOver Extra. Source Elements. VOHeroes.com. VoiceActorWebsites.com. And JMC Demos. All right. Thanks to Jeff Holman for running the chat room tonight from wherever it is Good that job, he is. Jeff. And, of course, our technical director, Sue Merlino, who got in her car and came over here and yes. got it done. In so, the flesh. We appreciate it. In the mask. Absolutely. And, of course, <laughs> Lee Penny for being Lee Penny. Well... 
This is a, this is always fun talking to everybody. Great great guest tonight, and uh, we got tech talk coming up. So stay tuned for that. And uh, but we'll leave you with this right now. If it sounds good, it is good. All right. I'm Dan Leonard. I'm George Whittem. And this is voiceover body shop or vo bs. BS.